Hey, you guys. Come on in and get comfortable. Wow. How's everyone doing? It's D Nut Case Case in the call, and I'm back again with the shenanigans. Here on the Nutcase Network, my loves. Hope you guys are doing well. Keep in mind the messages are general. They may not be for everyone. So be sure to go with what you know as a grown adult, as a human being, as an individual. Okay? Thank you so much for everyone who's already liked, shared, and subscribed. I really appreciate you guys' love and support. And I thank you for your continued patience with me as I transition through the stages of my life. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. Um, shameless plug. I have a special going on right now for readings. One question, $33.33. You must pay through Cash App. And you have to follow the directions in the description box below. So if you are interested in that, please be sure to check that out, you guys. Um, so... Let me go ahead and skip so I can see what my camera's looking like. Okay. Okay, so I wasn't going to do any of this. I don't know where this came from, you guys. I don't know what's going on, okay? <laughs> I was just literally sitting in my bed, and I got this channel message that there's about to be an explosion now. I put figurative in the title because this is new territory for me about channeling and things like that. And I really don't know, like, I, I don't want anybody to think anything crazy of me. So all I'm saying is that I feel like something is about to explode, right? You could be about to explode on someone. Someone could be about to try to explode on you. There could be like a major blow up that happens. I feel like it's like an argument. I feel like a really strong tower moment. I don't know if you guys been feeling it, but like all day, it's been a lot of tense energy, okay? I've been feeling tense. I feel like the, the people around me have been feeling tense, okay? And I feel like there's like a lot of tension in the air, okay? I don't know if y'all been feeling it. Is the comments turned off? I think they are. Let me see if I could turn the comments on. Okay, so I just turned the comments on. I don't know if that's going to help. Y'all probably got to refresh the video real quick if you want to see the comments. I don't know if the live comments work, though, but I don't think they do. However, there is some type of explosion going on. I don't know, like, who this is in regards to you, but I feel like somebody's either angry at you and they're about to explode on you or you're getting angry so much to where you're about to explode on someone else. I also feel like there's an explosion of energy, you guys. So when I say that there's some type of explosion, I feel like there's like a collective amount of explosive energy going on. I feel like something's about to happen like in the collective. I feel like I feel like there's about to be a major shift or there's about to be something like it's it's like y'all been feeling it and it's basically the energy has been changing. Um, the reason why I put don't be scared, be prepared is because y'all know that's always what I say. That's my motto. Don't be scared, be prepared. Like, fuck the bullshit. I just feel like like, OK, on the road to taking my son, my son had a band recital today and he had football practice tonight. And my son, like, basically, I don't know. I feel like he's okay. But, like, there's been, you know, some sports-related injuries and things like that. So, it's been a lot going on. And then, like, I'm just going to let y'all know because y'all know what be going on. But, like, I'm so happy because my divorce is finally final, bitch. Like, I'm not legally attached to this man no more. And I'm just happy. Okay. There's been a lot of explosive energy. Now, this explosion could also be someone expressing their feelings to you. And it's an explosion of emotions. 
I don't want you guys to just automatically think negatively in this situation, okay? This may be a situation where your spirit guides, guardian angels, archangels, ancestors, they don't want you to think negatively either. But I feel like there's like an explosion of energy that's going to be taking place. Just so you guys know, in terms of your everyday life, I feel like the collective as a whole is exploding in a very large amount of energy, which means all of us who have been focusing on a spiritual journey and all of us who've been moving towards our spiritual growth, we are all evolving. I feel like this is like um, an evolutionary trademark. I don't know what that means. So someone could be trademarking a business or trademarking something, okay, that's going to go public or something like that in the business world. But I feel like this is like a time where a lot of people are starting to have major epiphanies. So I feel like with us being people who, if you're somebody who's been in the tarot community, you've been in tarot land, okay, you know what's going on with the spirit guides, ancestors, guardian angels, archangels, the, the higher beings, the higher powers, the most high God, you know what's going on. So I feel like you have a level of preparedness for whatever is about to go on. I feel like there's about to be a lot of changes in the workplace environments, I feel like there's a lot to be, there's about to be, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm channeling. So there's about to be a lot of changes in like corporate America, in the government. Um, You know, I don't like talking about government, okay? They stay their little funky asses where they at, but this is about to happen, okay? So I feel like you don't need to be scared. You just need to be prepared. And I feel like your decisions need to come from a place that's not based on poverty, and your decisions need to come from a place that's not based off of lack. Okay? I've been doing a lot of personal readings. And shout out to all of you guys who trusted me to do your personal readings. I really love you guys. And I appreciate all of you for your support. Whether you got a personal reading or not. If you're just subscribed and you in here supporting your girl. Watching the videos. I really appreciate you. Okay? Um, but what I feel is that. You guys need to start appreciating yourselves more. Wow. Wow. Look at this shit as I split the deck, the tower in reverse and the justice in reverse. So is someone in the legal system or judicial system trying to avoid some type of major change? I don't know. But do you see what I'm saying? There's about to be a major shift that I feel like a lot of people don't want to face or they're not ready for. Or they're trying to avoid, okay? Karma, things coming back around. Someone is trying to avoid their karma. They're trying to stay in the glass house that they built. But isn't it a saying about like people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones or something like that? And then there's another saying, well, you know, he who casts the first stone or like something like that something about casting the first stone and living in glass houses and shit so i feel like there's there could be some type of government collapse happening okay we could be going back into like you know isolation and quarantine and all that type of shit but i don't like talking about that stuff um because I don't need nobody come for me. I got kids. And I swear, if you come for me and I'm minding my business, I'm going to use my self-defense. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like there is something about... There's something about defense, okay? I feel like I'm speaking the truth or I'm onto something because there's something about your defense mechanism or your defense system when this tower comes. It's like you're going to be fucked up if you try to avoid it. Or you're going to be fucked up if you try to like hide from it or lie about it or like whatever it is that is coming the way to survive or get through the situation is if you are not afraid i'm trying to get y'all to understand don't be scared be prepared there's a decision you're gonna have to make that's gonna call for you to have a level head you're going to have to make a decision from a very positive standpoint from a standpoint of abundance from a standpoint of perseverance, from a standpoint of just undying faith that you're exactly where you need to be. If you make this decision based off of fear, or if you make this decision from a mentality of lack, 
You're going to fuck yourself up. Okay. So what is going on my collective right now? What is going on? I know that was a long ass intro, but those of you who need to hear it, and if the message is for you, you're here. So welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my description box for anything you need to know. What is going on with my collective right now? Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. They say ring the bell. Thank you, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for all of your blessings. Thank you for bringing me and my collective together today. What is going on in the collective right now? Like, what is this tower moment? What is this explosion? What is this information? What are these emotions? What is the message that you need my collective to know right now? What is the message? Knight of Wands. So somebody's coming towards you. They're coming towards you very quickly. I feel like someone is riding in. It could be a fire sign, Aries or a Sagittarius. I feel like this person is very passionate. I feel like they have rhythm or they're rhythmic or the, the way that they speak is very methodical, melodical. They have like a, a rhythm to their tone. They have a rhythm to the way that they speak. I feel like someone is coming in. I feel like they're very passionate, but they could be a little angry, okay? I feel like this person has some type of liquid courage or, you know, smoke courage, okay? Yeah, two of pinnacles because they've made a decision or they're making a decision. They're trying to figure out how to balance the situation. They want to they want to work a situation out to where everybody is pleased, okay? What else is going on? It's like this is somebody's trying to compromise with you guys. Somebody's making a compromise. Some of you, there's this person who's giving you an ultimatum. Some of you, it's a compromise. Some of you, it's a peace offering. Some of you guys, it's an ultimatum. But I feel like there, this person is coming in. They're wanting to say something. They're coming very quickly. I just saw the five of pentacles. I feel like you feel separated from them. They feel separated from you. There's space. There's distance. There could be physical distance. Okay. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What else is the message for my collective? But it's going to call for compromise. Everyone has to compromise in this situation. Okay. We have the world and the five of wands. Yeah. So this situation, if, if, Someone has, okay, someone has made a decision to come towards you. They've been contemplating this for a while, okay, because something has ended here. Now that something has ended, someone wants to compete, okay? So whatever that means for you, take it how it resonates. But the world card is here with the five of wands. I feel like there's a lot going on online. I feel like something is going viral, okay? Okay. Five of Wands world card, I feel like something is going viral online. It's like you're either deciding to release something for some of you guys. Maybe it's music. Maybe it's a creative project. Um, it could be a, a, you know, a blog or whatever you are creating. You're deciding if you're going to release it to the world. And I feel like as soon as you release it, it's going to be like, boom. Like it's going to be a fucking explosion, my nigga. Like that shit is going to blow the fuck up. I feel like there's also someone here who's angry or they're frustrated or very like engulfed in passion about a decision that you made to end something. It's causing a lot of conflict in someone's life. The six of wands. So, okay, there's someone here watching this video who's about to drop some music or they're about to drop a new channel, or they're about to drop a website that they've been contemplating or working on for a long time. And they're about to put this shit online. It's about to go live. And, and, and Six of Wands at the bottom. It's about to be majorly successful. And somebody, it's like people are going to be clamoring for your products. They're going to be like, Trying to get bookings with you, okay? Yeah, and the devil. Ooh, child. 
I don't know. I feel like something about to go viral, boo. Somebody about to be famous, bitch. Like, ain't nobody going to be able to stop whatever the fuck this is because it's like somebody's just devilish with the talent. Like, somebody is just so cold. Somebody is so cold with the talent. Somebody's skills are at such a fucking level that it's almost evil that this person has this amount of talent. So this could be you or somebody else. But I feel like because you ended things with this person, they're going to be rushing in. Okay? Because they know that there's only a matter of time. Like with the Two of Pentacles, there's only a matter of time before you reach this fame, before you take this new level, before you ascend. It's only a matter... Look! And the star, come on now. It's only a matter of time before your ass is motherfucking unreachable. I'm finna add that to the title. Unreachable. Y'all make sure I remember. I turn on the comments. Shit. Wow. I feel like there's a lot of competition here. I feel like there could be arguments and fights going on. There's like a group of people who are arguing and fighting. Because something has been uh, leaked online. So somebody's music could be getting leaked here. Or there could be a situation where um, some information is getting leaked. I feel like that's more along the lines of whatever the government got going on. I don't know why I just split the deck, but whatever. Um, something is going live. Something is happening. Okay, what? What is this Knight of Wands? Let's just start over here. What's the Knight of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands? Wow. Somebody's coming in fast, too. They've been deciding to do this for a long time. Yeah, the Hermit. Yeah, somebody's been deciding to come towards you, or you've been deciding to release this project or this creative endeavor for a long time, and you've been holding it back, or someone has been holding back from you. Okay, what's the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. This. Yeah, I feel like you've been putting in a lot of work for several years. Okay, so I feel like there's two stories. Y'all got to understand with my readings. There's usually several stories because there's a lot of y'all watching. So there's some people here who've been working on a creative endeavor for a long time. They're about to drop this album. They're about to drop this merchandise. They're about to drop this whatever. You've been working on it for a long time. It may even be something that was inspired by your father. But there's something here that's causing you to all of a sudden release this project. And it's going to be like, man, people go, you about to create an uproar. Okay. Then there's also some people here who have a person who's not been talking to them for a long time. Excuse me. There's been very little communication. I feel like someone has been going within trying to find themselves, trying to figure out who they are, but now they know and they're coming out. Like, I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. So you're coming out. If you're releasing this project, you're coming out. It's about to be successful. If somebody's coming towards you, they're coming towards you because they've been contemplating. They've been thinking for a long time. Okay. And I feel like they, yeah, they. I was about to say they need to fight for this. The Five of Swords. So now that something has ended between you and this person, for those of you who are in that group... This person has been thinking a lot about how they've been moving. They've been thinking a lot about how, how they, they've probably been trying to settle themselves down with the Knight of Wands and the Hermit. That's drastic change of energy. So it's like somebody has been thinking about their ways or they've been thinking about maybe how they were being petty. Okay. Someone has been reflecting on why a person walked away here. Okay. And we have the chariot and the queen of cups. So I feel like someone is feeling that they are in love. Someone is reflecting or uh, meditating, ruminating over their emotions. And they want to act on it now. They want to act on their heart. They want to act on how they feel. So if this is a creative project, this is you releasing it. If this is someone who's been withholding something from you about their feelings, they're releasing it. I just, when I, that's why I named the video what I named it, you guys, because it's an explosion. 
whether it's an explosion of emotions or an explosion of anger or an explosion of talent, it's an explosion. I also feel like there's going to be some type of explosion in society when it comes to like people's emotions. I feel like there's a lot of people who are frustrated and it's like a Coke bottle that's been shook up and then it's like somebody opens it, right? And I feel like the top is slowly but surely squeezing off with society right now. So that's just a side note, but I really don't want to focus on that. Okay, what's this five of wands? The sun, okay. So I feel like there's a Virgo here. There's a Leo here. There could even be an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Taurus that are involved. But I don't want to focus on that. I feel like you're going to be very happy with the amount of people who are going to be buying your album, purchasing your merchandise, patronizing your channel. Okay. And the chariot keeps being right here at the bottom. And I feel like you knew it to be true. Queen of Wands. You knew that this was going to blow. Like, you knew when you dropped this album or when you released this information, okay, that you knew it was going to be an explosion, okay? But I feel like whatever you said, it's like you beat out the competition or whatever you're doing, you're beating out the competition, okay? I feel like while everybody is fighting behind you, you riding off in the motherfucking sunset, bitch. <laughs> like, fuck the bullshit all the way. Like... And I feel like it's because you learned lessons, hermit card. I feel like it's because you progressed forward vigorously towards your goals and you weren't afraid to experience new things. You weren't afraid to grab the bull by the horns, okay? And even in the darkness, you still persevered through it. Even when people were attacking you, I feel like someone could be attacking you online here. I feel like there could be somebody who's like, Ooh, let me calm down, Jesus. Hold on. I feel like someone could be attacking you online. Or there could be some type of cyber attack going on. But I feel like someone could be attacking you online, like leaving you bad reviews, leaving you bad comments. Like this could be already a business or an endeavor that you have going, but it's been like stuck. And you felt like it might be over. You felt like you lost your opportunity. You missed your chance. But no. <laughs> no, boo-boo. Something's about to change with these fives. I feel like somebody's been trying to play you. But look, the fool card is here in judgment. Karma is here. Okay? Your guardian angels, your protectors, your guides, your ancestors, God... The higher beings that you believe in are here protecting you. The fool talks about taking a leap of faith despite all odds, despite whatever the outcome could possibly be. You still grab the bull by the horns and you just go with the motherfucking flow and let that shit ride. And I feel like the fact, it, I feel like what this is, this success that you got coming towards you is because you trusted in your spirit, guys. You trusted in the universe. You trusted in the higher beings and the most high God that you that you know is true. Because why would you be here? How would you have everything that you have right now? And you it's like you stood back and you looked at it like, damn, I'm blessed as fuck. And they trying to like mess me up no i'm protected and it's like that's what caused you to have this ring of protection maybe you don't even know people been talking about you maybe you don't even know who's been the culprit of this shit but it's like you feel the negative spiritual attacks but it's like throughout all of it you still persevered you still remain positive you still try to rise above the drama and the conflict and even though you thought something might be dead or you were scared, you were scared to bring that shit back. Bring it back. Bring it back. You were scared to bring that shit back. You were scared to drop more music. You were scared to put out more videos. You were scared to get your channel back up and running. Or you were scared to create this new channel. You were scared to, you know, start this website. You were scared to buy your first products. But guess what? You still did that shit because you trusted in the most, you, you trusted in the most high God. You trusted in your spirit, guys. You trusted in the universe and you was like, you know what? 
I don't care what nobody say about me. I know I'm doing this for a good reason. Whether you was trying to make profit to help your hood, whether you was trying to get kids out of poverty, whether you wanted to adopt a child, whatever it was, you had good intentions. And that's what that shit fall down to. Because can't nobody stop you when you got good intentions. What's the five of wands in the sun? Thank you. Ooh. See what I'm saying? The star in reverse. Because everybody was coming at you, 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 you dimmed your light. You lowered your star. You lost hope in whatever the fuck it is you was working towards. Because there was so many people coming at you when you was trying to avoid the drama. But you still the star though. People was trying to attack you to make you lose hope. What's the world? Thank you, chariot. But you continue to persevere with this chariot card. And this chariot card, like, in this um, in this new deck that I just got, right, the Tarot Grand Lux, the chariot card has reins on it. But in most of the chariots, they don't have any reins on it. So this man or this woman is on this chariot just letting it go wherever it's going to go. Like I said, you trusted your guys. You went with the motherfucking flow. And I feel like you always try to remain positive about it. But it's like the way things were moving, it was like things were moving so quickly in such a hostile direction. You was like, damn, am I doing the right thing? What's the two of pentacles and the king of pentacles? But I feel like somebody came to help you. Maybe it was this earth sign that came to give you some type of guidance. Yeah, nine of pentacles. You see what I'm saying? Money could have been really tight. This could have been a project that you was funding all by yourself. You was trying to make shit shake. And you was losing hope. You may have even had to loan some money from your dad. Or maybe had to loan some money from like a family member or something like that. Or you may have even had to take out loans, student loans, you know, personal loans, whatever. But I feel like it's because you knew you was going somewhere. And now I feel like someone has been watching you because of this. Okay, four of wands and the wheel of fortune. I feel like you moved, you, you, some of you might have even moved out of your childhood home, left home. You were independent, maybe at a young age. But I feel like. It was because you had faith. It's like everything you did, you went out on faith. I do feel like someone is watching this about you, though. Like, how I just got so passionate about you, I feel like that's this Knight of Wands. Could be a Sagittarius or this Fire Sign. Could be a Sag with a Virgo placement. Um, But I feel like this person looks at you this way. It's like, how, how did Collective overcome all of this? And you still looking good. It's like you still keep your body right. Whatever shape you are. It's like you still keep yourself looking presentable. Like you could have been looking like the underside of a fucking freeway, bitch. But you still kept yourself looking good. And they like, damn. How you getting away with that shit, though? Like, oh, my God. Somebody really, a lot of people, it was at least five different people. They really did not want you to believe in what you was doing. They didn't want you to believe in your work. And it's 10, 10. My, my phone just lit up and it's 10, 10 PM. Okay. What's the Knight of Wands and the, and the Hermit card? Yeah. What's the Knight of Wands and the Hermit card? I feel like someone's been reflecting on communicating with you for a long time, but you've been growing this whole empire or you've been like, Elevating and escalating yourself to a new motherfucking level. Yeah, three of pentacles. Yes. Somebody's been trying to learn how to work. Like they've been trying to learn how to work on relationships or they've been working on themselves, like their inner selves. They've been working on their sporadic nature. They've been working on their uh, uh, unreliability or whatever the word is. They've been working on this. This person knows that they were not there for you. They know that they did you dirty. Five of swords. They know that they looked out for themselves and that was it. Like somebody ended something with you for some petty ass reason, bro. Somebody ended something with you. I feel like somebody could have even been married or whatever, but I feel like somebody 
juggle between you and someone else. And I feel like it was for a superficial ass reason with this nine of pentacles. It could have been because of the clothes you wear, the shoes you wear, the house you live in, you know, your car, you know, whether or not you wear a motherfucking lace front or not. Whether or not you, you know, get your nails done short or long. Like somebody was petty as fuck. And they moved on from you very quickly because they felt like you was never going to be nobody. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Could have been this Leo or this Cancer. They felt like you was never going to be nobody. And I feel like they had a lot of people vying for their attention, but I feel like something has changed. The motherfucking tables have turned. The magician is here. And then Justice and the Empress want to make themselves known. So it's like when you walked away from this person, I feel like you took it as a personal, not vendetta, but I feel like you kind of did take it as a vendetta. I feel like you took it as a personal attack on you and it inspired you to get your justice. It inspired you to grow. I feel like somebody perpetuated or initiated your spiritual awakening or your spiritual journey, your dark night of the soul moment. The magician is here. So I feel like somebody sparked the magician energy in you. Somebody sparked your creative nature or they sparked some motivation in you to create what you deserve in your life. So even though this person kind of, to me, is coming off as very selfish, vindictive or whatever, your growth is your karma. Your growth is your justice because now... Despite whatever predicament they're in, because it looks like they're in a lesser predicament than where you left them. But despite whatever predicament they're in, you have to be thankful for this person. And that's why. OK, so somebody who did you very dirty is going to come in back, going to come in back. Jesus, somebody who did you very dirty is coming back around. And it's about to be an explosion because I feel like this situation was just. This something that, you know, it, it might end up on snap, okay? Because I feel like it was it was something that was real, real, real grimy, okay? Um, real dirty in nature, okay? But you're being tested. And I feel like my spirit guides are, are, are pleading for me to Im, Im, impression this upon you. Or they're ple pleading for me to impress this upon you. Is that if you react in a fucked up way to this person, or if you react in like a smug, stuck up, negative way, anything other than loving to these people that's coming around in your life, you're going to have to repeat some motherfucking cycles. Whether you goddamn like it or not, whether you want to believe what I'm saying or not, that's what the fuck it is. Okay? So what you need to realize is that fucking Empress card, that Justice card, and that Magician card would have never motherfucking been possible without this person doing you like that. So you need to show some motherfucking gratitude. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but that's just what I feel like the message is. You don't have to agree with what they did. You don't even have to agree with me, but I'm just a messenger, okay? And even if you don't agree with the way that they handle something, would you really have been uh, uh, inspired or propelled as quickly as you were to get where you need to be without this inspiration? I would like to see the answer to that. What's the Knight of Wands, Hermit, and Three of Pentacles? What's that? Somebody's been... And because of the way this person has seen... See, because it's a, it's, a, it's a mirror effect. For all y'all hollering about these twin flames and you so engulfed in these twin flames, you need to understand what the fuck it really mean. It's a mirror effect. And I'm not no professional. I told y'all, I don't know all the answers. But what this person did to you caused you to level up. And this person could have been at a certain level or they could have had things, things that people say that they want. But because they did you so dirty and you leveled up and they had to watch whether they said anything to your ass or not, because I'm pretty sure they didn't say shit. But whether they said anything or not, they watched your ass level up. Because if you are a true spirit of love, light, and prosperity, as you all want to be, then your light is going to shine brightly in whoever's life you come in contact with. Whether they treat you right or they treat you wrong, you're going to make an impression. You're impressionable. 
And they made an impression on you so much so that you changed your life. Now this person is literally trying to figure out how to change their life because they're sick of whatever this uh, five of swords energy is that they've been living in. Okay. And now they're looking back at the times they did you dirty. So not only did they initiate your growth, but then you turn right around, boo-boo, and initiated theirs. What's the Knight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Three of Pentacles, please? Thank you so much, Guardian Angels. Ooh, shit. Ooh, somebody regrets not paying attention to you because they thought you wasn't going to be nobody. Wow. Because of the way you dress or the way you got your hair. Or the type of wigs you wear, child. Or the way you get your hair cut. Or the type of shoes you got on. Or the type of car you drive. Whether you masculine or feminine. It was for a petty ass fucking reason. They thought you wasn't going to be no star. They was happy because they had other people around. Wow. What's this Knight of Wands? Hermit and the Three of Pentacles. What is this? Guardian Angels. Archangels. Spirit Guides and Ancestors. Father, Mother, God. Thank you for your blessings. What is this Knight of Wands? Okay. Yes, yeah, seven of cups. So now they're confused. Now they need your help on this spiritual journey. What's this two of pentacles, king of pentacles, and nine of pentacles? They need your help now on this spiritual journey. Yes, yeah, so they're going to send you a message. They've been contemplating it for a while. Ooh. And I feel like they're a little angry. The energy is very... The, I, I don't know. I feel like this person is angry. It's a combination of them being angry at themselves. It, uh, in 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 unison with anger towards you for actually turning out to be somebody, right? So this person was cool causing conflict in your life because they thought you was a nobody, right? They was cool with that. But when you started to be somebody, they got mad because they like, damn. Because it confirmed the feelings that they already were withholding I feel like, yeah, and it caused this person a major burden. I feel like this person is stressed out about talking to you. Yeah. They're trying to overcome the past. They're trying to move forward from what they did to you in the past. Like, baby, I don't need, I don't even need the cards. I'm going to clarify these last two, but I'm just letting you know. This person is reminiscing about all the stress that they caused you in the past or how much trouble they put you through or how you always did all the work. And they're, they're like, damn, do I send this message to collect it? Because, damn, now they looking good. Now they got some money. Damn, I thought they wasn't going to be no goddamn body. And it's like, they're angry at themselves. They're angry at themselves because they didn't see it in you. They're angry at themselves because they missed out on something good. But they're also, like, in unison, angry at you for actually turning out to be somebody. Because if you didn't turn out to be anybody, then they would have never had to change. Damn, that shit is crazy, though, how deep that go. What's the world? Five of Swords and the Chariot. Ooh. Ooh. A secret could definitely be coming out. High Priestess in the reverse. Someone did not use their intuition when they ended the situation. It's so clear. Someone ended something with you for a petty ass reason. Like I said, they moved on quickly. And they did not listen to their intuition. That's why the fuck they shooting they self in the foot yeah and i told you like i told you when this person come around don't you be acting smug don't you be sitting there looking all stuck up and looking all goofy in the goddamn face wipe that goddamn smirk off your face bitch don't be acting like that because if you act like that then it's gonna bring a whole lot of karma back on you but that's because that's how this person was acting and they got fucked in the ass with no Vaseline. So do you want to be that same motherfucker? Think about who you truly are. Title card. Excuse me. Someone was happy. Someone was very content in who they were when they made this decision. But when them tables turn, baby, when them tables motherfucking turn, you best to be ready. Because you don't know what's you don't know what direction that bitch gonna go in. What's the five of wands and the and the sun card? What's the five of wands, sun card, and the star in reverse? Ooh, yes. So you probably didn't have no money. Especially for my masculines out there. This bitch left you because you didn't have nothing. You was broke. You was struggling from paycheck to paycheck. Now you looking like the king of motherfucking pentacles, nine of pentacles. 
For my feminists out there, it's the same way around. But I feel like for my feminists, it's more of a um, superficial thing like your looks. You were struggling. You were struggling to get your hair done. You were struggling to get your nails done. You was making it happen though still. But it's like, dang. It didn't look like it came as easy for you as it did for somebody else who distracted this person. So they didn't use their intuition. Now a secret is about to be come out that somebody has been holding on to for a long period of time. Because of your come up. Because of your rise to fame, because of your clout. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. This offer has taken a very long time for a new beginning, an offer for a new beginning. Let's start over. Let's start fresh. Can we move past whatever has happened between us? I'm just hearing all types of apologies, my nigga. Like, period. Somebody feels somebody's coming with a dog, like a dog with a tail between their legs. And I'm not even fronting. Like, it's about to be an explosion. Look at what I'm saying. What do I say? What do I say? And look, look at this. What's at the bottom of the deck? Somebody is offering something to their past. They're bringing something tangible and they've been thinking about it for a long time. And I feel like now you out of their league because they coming through as a knight. You know what I mean? I feel like you the king of pentacles. And I feel like you got this person fucking intimidated. And that's all, that's it. You got this person intimidated. Yep. Somebody's up at night worried about making this offer, child. Ooh, Lord. What you done did? What's the advice? Nope. I want to see what this person could be keeping. What are they keeping to themselves? Yeah. What is it that they keeping to themselves? What is this person hiding? Oh, that they, that they, I feel like, okay, there's a lot. This person is hiding how, how, first of all, they're hiding the sleepless nights. They're hiding how distraught this makes them feel. They're hiding how much agony that they've been in mentally about this situation, the back and forth that it's caused in their mind. They're hiding the fact that they can't figure out how to maintain balance. I feel like there's somebody who's been entertaining prostitutes, whores, strippers, Things like that, or they've been entertaining a lot of like, um, they've been entertaining a lot of sexual partners, or like they've been given to a lot of situations because they don't know what to do about the situation. I feel like somebody is, um, basically they fell victim to their toxicity, like they fell victim to their addictions because of this. I also feel like someone has been spending a lot of money. I feel like they've been, you know, maybe shopping too much. Okay. But it's all because of the fact that somebody was breadcrumbing you. It's like this person is in their mind doing all these things, going back and forth, trying to balance out their life because of all the things that they did to like keep themselves above you. Somebody owe you some money or some shit, but they've been doing all of these things to try to avoid the, the, the mental anguish that they feel about this situation and there's the night the knight of pentacles again you see what i'm saying they know they, they've either been withholding this apology or they've just been yeah ten of swords just wanted to pop out just now they've been withholding this apology about stabbing you in the back they know they betrayed you it's like but they really betrayed themselves and the realization of that got this motherfucker all the way fucked up they they twisted What's the nine of swords and the six of pentacles? I'm not saying you should be happy about that, but I'm just saying this is what they're hiding, okay? Three of wands. Yeah, and I feel like they're hiding the fact that they've been waiting on you to come back for a long time. They've been waiting on things to work out. Yep, the fool card. Wow, 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 bitch. Fool card and the ace of motherfucking cups. Exactly. I feel like you always went back to this person or you were always somebody who just always hung around. You know what I'm saying? Like you was real easy with it. Sorry, but you were. But <laughs> the thing about it, boo, <laughs> the thing about it, baby, <laughs> the thing about it, <laughs> my G, you is not that person no more. You're a totally different person. You discover self-love. OK, you discover the love and the energy that you put into yourself multiplies 20, 
a hundred infinity times faster than the love that you put into somebody else. And it's not saying that you don't love other people, but you've decided to do it in a new way. Okay. Damn. This magician again, Queen of Swords. You ain't playing with these motherfuckers. Somebody, let me tell you something. Somebody's bringing their emotions, but you like, look, you about to get turned around with your little uh, immature shit. Ain't nobody finna be dealing with that, but I don't think that you should treat this person badly, okay? I think that you should be like, you know, I just think that you should be open to whatever they have to say and be objective because... If you do if you do this person dirty or you act real stuck up and smug and shit, I feel like it's going to come back to you, okay? What's the advice for my collective? Yeah, two of swords, page of swords. I feel like really pay attention to how you think about a situation. Like don't try to avoid this tower moment. Don't try to run from it. Like I said earlier, the way that you react to this is going to determine I feel like the next level of your life. And it sounds like major, but it could creep up on you as something very simple and you don't even see it coming. So I really feel like you need to be watching your back, paying attention. Like I said, don't be scared, but just be prepared. And if you're always prepared, i.e. treating people correctly on a daily basis, being kind to others, giving back when you can, you don't have to worry about nothing because you already prepared. Okay. But if you if you been spying or you've been being selfish towards people, two plus one is three. Prepare for that heartbreak in this situation. Okay. Two of cups at the bottom and eight of wands. I'm telling you, this conversation is coming. You think I'm playing? And you're going to have to look at it from a new perspective. Yep. Yeah, because there's about to be a transformation. But it's all about how you invest and what you invest. Okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed the reading. I'm finna go. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe as always. To take advantage of the reading special in the description box below. Be sure to check the description box. And remember you guys, stick to the positivity today. And every day be blessed. And don't let these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye.